Welcome back. This is JARC02, and I hope everyone's having a good 4th of July holiday. Uh, I'm off from work today as well, and uh, what I'm going to do today is what's in the box 30, but that is not the 30th box. This is actually um, two packs that I have. And uh, for lack of a better place to store them, I've been keeping them in this uh, plastic shoe box. Box in the 30 is actually this box here on the floor. And just a few things in here, so it's not going to take long. And then we'll get to the two packs. Um, I don't think I went over this before. Um, this is the car culture um, gift set that you can only get from the Redline Club. This was such a hassle to get. I think this was uh, January when they offered this. And it was... I don't even want to go into it. It was just really a hassle. And then when some people got them, they found that some of the cars were cracked. Uh, not the cars, but the blisters were cracked. Okay, so I opened it up to check them. Um, but these are the cars that came in the blister. Okay, 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone, and there's no numbers on these because these are supposed to be the six in the series. So this was number six in the Hot Wheels Redliner series. And then there was Cars and Donuts. This was number six, and this has the um, Golf. That's why it's a zero five. Zero five. Okay, it's really the six car in, in there. Okay. Um, even though these came five together, it's just the sixth one for each one of these different series cars that they offered. So I'm waiting to see what they'll offer this year. If they'll do the same thing again, my guess is they will. So Cars and Donuts, and then we have the 13 Coupo Camaro with the um, Gulf Blue and Orange. And here we have the 84 Mustang SVO, um, which this, I do like this casting. Not a Ford person, but I think they did justice to the uh, Ford Mustang. There was a uh, uh, a new model or um, regular release last year, and they put this plastic rear end on it. And it was also a super treasure hunt, I think, last year. I can't remember which Mustang it was. It was horrible. I mean, if you're a Mustang fan, I'd be upset that they put that on the back of the car because I think it really detracted from the uh, the overall model. But I think I like this because it does look like, you know, the Mustangs from 1984. Okay, that's why I like it. It, it, it looks authentic. It looks real. All right. And here we have the uh, BRE Datsun Bluebird 510. Um not a JDM fan, you know, you know, I like cars in general and I buy them, you know, to have as a set, but, um, I know this one's really popular, but, uh, I'm not breaking up the set just to sell that one. <laughs> and this is really, really cool. This is probably my second favorite out of all of them. Um, the 65 Volkswagen Fastback, and I believe that tilts up front and uh like a funny car uh, i like it because i like the um uh, the body style and it's a heavy casting and i like the moon eyes uh tampa and stuff but my favorite out of this bunch because i have to go with the classic type of cars that i kind of remember growing up and seeing in magazines is the comet cyclone uh, straight axle, which would be, what class of cars was this? It was, um, uh, darn, fuel altered or what was the other one? Gasser. Okay. Um, so, so the Gasser, uh, Cyclone, this is my favorite out of the bunch. And um, this is this 
only the second time I've had it out to take a look at it. So this is a different type of light in my garage than when I looked at it in my living room. And it really looks nice. So, and it's got the chrome steelies with Hoosier tires. So, uh, that's it for this. Got an M2 in here. And this is 100 years of Chevrolet trucks. And can we see that? 19, well, let me see here. 1958 Chevrolet Spartan LCF. And inside there would be a 19... 58 Chevrolet Apache Stepside. Oh, that'll be cool. Uh, I'm not opening it up. Okay. Uh, it's not a chase. It's 7,088 pieces. It's the rear end. It's the front. Alright, so I needed room. I put that in there. Here we have these are, uh, just came out and I got these at Target. The uh, Smash Up Stadium 5-packs. Okay, so here we have uh, Max D. Who was that one back there? Is that a, a Overkill Evolution? Metal Militia. I got it for the Black Avenger. 57 Chevy body. And here we have um, Grave Digger. Too much Grave Digger. He's like all over the place. He's like the thing that won't go away. You don't get anything new. But the Avenger in here, that is the exclusive truck. Okay. Uh, here we have the other one. There was two of them offered. Uh, I forget what they call this one. Uh, here we have uh, something Predator, uh, Monster Mutt. Is this uh, Carolina Crusher? got this champion logo up there and the exclusive truck is El Toro Loco let's take a look at the back and maybe the trucks are on here yeah the trucks are on here I'll show you the back of the other one in a minute Predator Monster Mutt El Toro Loco is the exclusive truck um Brutus okay and Black Stallion all right so I had him wrong and then that was the second one here's the other one we'll take a look at the back Uh, Metal Militia, Overkill Evolution, the exclusive is Avenger, Max D, and Grave Digger. Um, this one is a flat paint. That's kind of cool. Ooh, looking from this angle is kind of interesting, too. So Let's try taking a look at the second one from that angle, see what we see. All right, um, that's it for that box. Uh, let me just set these out of the way for a moment. And the shoe box. Again, these are just two packs, and I, I don't know really how to, you know, store them. Uh, I probably bought this myself at Pep Boys. Um, Pep Boys is a Philadelphia-based company. So they're very common up here. Uh, I know they're all over now. All right. Um, can't remember where I got this, but I bought it because I like both cars. They're both, you know, authentic, real cars. What do we have here? Hot Wheels 2-pack.
So it's a real Corvette and it's a real Buick GSX and it's a copyright 2008. So it came out in 2009. Here is a Halloween two-pack, mummified on the uh, Demon. Uh, this had a host of names. Um, that's actually a Tom Daniels model uh, show car called Lil Coffin. Look it up. Do a, a Google search and you'll see it. And then we have Combat Meta Ferro Fueled. That's kind of interesting. a copyright on here 2002 don't know where I got these I might have got them at my local supermarket I can't remember there's another Halloween Tupac, Evil Twin, and for the life of me right now, this escapes my mind. Because I don't look at this stuff before I do the filming. I just go right into it. Copyright 2002. All right. Uh, here is a Walgreens exclusive two-pack. Uh, don't know if I bought this online or if I actually found it at a Walgreens. And if I found it at a Walgreens, was it local before Walgreens moved into my area or in Florida? Where they were pretty common before uh, I think they moved up uh, to the northeast. And it is copyright 2000. All right, so there's the back, so probably 2001. More Halloween and the Anglia panel. And that has the, looks like it's got the opening hood. And uh, Phantom Course Air, I think that is. Driving Dead. Uh, I don't think you want to drive dead in a Phantom Corsair because I think that's based on a real car and that would actually be in a very expensive show car that you'd see something like uh, Pebble Beach Concourse, Pebble Beach or something like that. Copyright. Where is the copyright on this boy? 2002. Okay. A couple more. Here's another Walgreens 2-pack with the uh, Ford. And... Oh, I can't remember that one. So, can't remember. That's okay. Just showing you the cars. Copyright 2000, I believe. Walgreens. Okay, one more. And we are done. Another Halloween exclusive. And that's obviously based off a of 57 Chevy, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, check my video for 2001 uh, 96 car um, uh, set, okay? Uh, because that was a first edition in 2001. So this has to be past 2001. And it's a 2001... 2002 copyright. So 2003. All right, um, that's it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions. And I appreciate it. Uh, I picked up some new subscribers. Thank you very much. I hope you continue to enjoy the videos and stay with me. Uh, I still have a lot of stuff in my collection I want to go over. 
Uh, I haven't been buying uh, much Hot Wheels recently, um, but my collect collecting and buying ebbs and flows, so um, it's not going to be a permanent thing. Uh, I just haven't been out hunting for them. So um, please uh, let me know what you think. Thank you to my new subscribers. I appreciate it. And um, if you like to subscribe and you have not already, uh, upper left corner at the end of the video, up that way. And, uh, of course, I'll leave some links to some other videos you might enjoy as well. So take care. Have a good day. Bye.